Hey, what's going on guys? Brian here. Today's video will be a quick tutorial on how to transition from scene to scene using Swift and Sprite Kit. Alright, so let's get started. First things first, as always, let's create a blank Xcode project. You can call this whatever you want. It'll be a game. I'm going to call this transition from scene to scene. Alright, next. Take over my desktop. I'm going to make this bigger. Alright, so we already have a game scene at Swift here, right? But we need another scene so we can transition to. I don't need that stuff in there. I don't need this stuff in here either. I'll just leave it in there just to let you know which scene is which. And I'm also going to set the background color to be a SK color of blue. Alright, yeah, that's good. Alright. Now we're going to have to create a new one, right? Let's create a new file. Um, let's source split file. Let's call this scene two. All right. Now we have to create another file, but we have to create an SKS file for this scene. It's a new file. Resource sprite kit scene. Call this the same name as you do said before for this one. Scene two. All right. Now in here. I'm going to import sprite kit. We create the class called scene2. The master file name. The super class would be sk scene. And then here we're going to write a function called did move to view. And then we're going to declare the background color like we did in the other scene. But this one would be a sk color of green. Alright. Let's create a touch of again in here because we're going to need that in a minute. Alright, let's go back to the first scene, right? Now let's start working on the code to transition to, from scene to scene. Now we want to transition from game scene to scene 2, right? So let's say let uh, scene 2, which is the name of the second scene, equal to scene 2, the file name. Alright, open parentheses, file name. And in here, just put the name of the file name as well. Alright, now you want to say scene 2, referring to this one right here. And say dot scale mode equals dot aspect fill. All right. And one last line is self dot view present scene. You could do this one to just present the scene, or you can do what I like to do, and you present the scene with a type of transition. So I'm choose this one. I'm say scene two. Put an exclamation point to let to force and wrap it. And transition will be. I like to do fade with duration, but you can do anything you want. They have other ones as well. All of these right here, but I like to do fade. You do fade with color, but fade with durations, what I always stick with. And I will put 0 0.5 seconds. All right. Now I'm going to copy the same exact code and bring it over to the second scene so I can show you what, how to go back and forth. So in here, it touches began. I'm just going to call this uh, scene one. Um, copy this over, scene one, scene one as well. But this one I'm going to change to game scene, and the file name will be game scene as well. All right, now let's run this on iPhone 4s. All right, now it's loading up. All right, here we go. Now we have the first scene, so we set the background color to be blue, and we have this label "Hello World," which is standard when you always create a blank Xcode project that's always there that we just left it there. Now when I click the screen, right, it should transition to the second scene or scene two with the background color of green. Now when I click it, it should transition with a fade. And it did. Now we'll click it again since we have the same code and then touch it again for scene two file. If we go back to the simulator and we click again, it will go back to the blue screen. And that's it. That's all you need to do to transition from scene to scene. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this quick tutorial. Uh, like and subscribe, and yeah, I'll see you in the next one.